If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back to brand new day of Road to TV Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to take a look at Robin's Robin Schultz's Lapras VMAX deck with Frostmuck from the show match between Bright Birds and Limitless. We are back also with full arts. I decided um, I want to do full arts again. <laughs> they look prettier and the full art B actually look really nice. And these are already full art anyway, so might as well. So we have Frostmoth with the Ice Dance ability where you get to attach a Water Energy card from your hand to one of your Benched Water Pokemon, <clears throat> so as you like. And of course we have Lapras Max, which <coughs> does 90 damage plus 30 more for each Water Energy attached. Um, no, no limit, so you can do unlimited damage with that. Um, we do have Balloons to switch around and power up. Like the Dex attempt, or the Dex purpose is not, without any switches, it's not really to just power up fully every turn to get maximum damage, but you can um, pre-power up, leave things active with the balloons, and then um, 2k KO things with Lapras, which with 120 HP, you can actually um, assume that you're not going to be getting KO'd super, super easily. Uh, we do have Lady to search for four basic energy cards and put them into our hand. We have Energy Retrieval, a very healthy 14 energy count. Reset stamps to attack the hand, not Marnie this time. We have Cynthia's, we have Acrobax to dig, we have um, Pokecoms, Quick Pulse, and Evolution Incense to set up. So, yeah, let's see what we can do with Robin's Lapras deck. The secret rare full art flexes indeed. <laughs> and hey, Julian, yeah, Psychic Club is a friend. Um, they're starting out, so I'm okay with them, with them doing that. Yeah. They're a team of juniors and seniors, and I coach a few of them, actually. So, yeah, I'm okay with uh, people showing support to them because they're they're a pretty cool club of, of kids, if you will. All right, so going second, my opponent chose to go first. I will I still disagree with that. Uh, but yeah, thank you for, for watching out. Yeah, thank you for watching out. There will be a secret rare frost moth. Yeah, that's true. Now we need a secret rare seeking, right? Yeah, <laughs> we need a secret rare seeking. Okay, so there's a lot of people right now on stream. Let me ask you this. Right now, there are 33 people with active subscriptions on my Twitch channel. Yeah. How many do you think would be a fair number for me to like, if we get to a certain number, I play Seeking at a League Challenge. And if we get to a certain other number, higher number, I play it at a League Cup. Yeah, what, what number is fair? What number is fair? In my mind, it's 55 and 75. When I get five subs, <laughs> That seems a little slow, a little low, sorry. Um, okay, look, so good going turn one, right? Attach pass. Um, I feel like I want another snom here. This one's probably going down. And I don't mind giving my opponent extra cards. Maybe I should just 
researched. One sub and two subs. 50, 100, but say 100 for what and 100 for what. <clears throat> 50 and 75? Okay. 50 and 75, that seems reasonable ish. Um, do I retreat into anything? Nah. Well. Lots of energy is gonna be lost here. It's not like I need a lot in this matchup, but... You get the privilege of playing Seeking, so I think Retrigged is right. A hundred for Seeking. Tail 1v, Irish Gangsta? Maybe maybe it's time for me to sign a Tail 1v. If you consider an investment from me, I'd say that around 60 and 100. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking that number is, is fair, because like... <clears throat> I don't know. It would be hard to get everyone to unsub so we can get five subs. <laughs> it would be pretty hard for that to happen, that's true. Um, so yeah, like, yeah. I would need to order the, the cards for the Seeking deck, because I did order Seeking. Big mistake, right? Big mistake. Um, and it would be for a challenge or a cup in March. I would actually prefer to play that a cup, you, if you can imagine that. Um, <clears throat> 60 subs and 100. I think that seems reasonable. <laughs> it's Jillian, 200 subs. I don't think 200 subs is realistic. You're playing seeking on TCGO Trick Shovel. Oh, wait, what? What just happened? Um, I just topped like another energy. I feel like I can't get rid of everything in this hand. Ah, oh, no frost mod. And no way to search for frost mod either. At least I got another snob. What a weird game. Just play Seeking now on stream? I already played Seeking um, last week. And there will be a Seeking video, but it was so enjoyable. And Seeking has like, it has history in our channel because we once played a Seeking deck in the, po in the TCG Pokedex series that did really well. And it destroyed people and it was really awesome to play, so Seeking is kind of like a mascot for us. So I think 60 and 100 seems reasonable. But no, I want to make the League Cup more accessible. I think 60 and 80, or 55, 75. I think that seems reasonable. 55 and 75 for me to play Seeking at a challenge or a cup. I would need to, I would need to get a thousand though to consider it for a regional. <laughs> this deck looking mad, right? Yeah, I agree. I just I don't want to sigor away all of this. Not sigor, sorry, Magnolia away all of this. All Lapras decks are mad though. I agree with that sentiment. Yeah, I would definitely do like a, a special video about it, right? Skills, things much for follow. A hundred for a regional seeking? No, no way, <laughs> no way, because like. Proportionally, 100 subs equals $250, right? And I'd be, I would have to pay for the flight, pay the entry fee, which is already like 60, and lose out on $5,000 for potentially winning the regional. So I definitely, regional, I, it would need to be 1,000, right? Not 100. <laughs> Corby, thank you so much for the follow. How many for worlds? 5,000. If we got to 5,000 subs from now until Worlds, I would play Seeking Out Worlds. That I would commit to. Can we get to 5,000 active subs in a single month before Worlds? <laughs> Thank you, H. Julian. Very kind of you. Alright, so goodbye Lapras. I have another Lapras, but this is just awful. I'm just gonna have to attack, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to give up on this. Like, it can KO with Lapras. My opponent only has two prize cards right now. So that's good news. That is good news. Alright. Um hello. You need to take your prizes, friend. 
There we go. Seems like he fell asleep or something. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna just go in with. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Frostmoth. Thank you for deciding to show up. All right. So I'm gonna ice dance. All four energies to a labyrinth theme. And then I'll play this. <clears throat> and <laughs> Frostmoth can't even KO this, so there's no point in attaching more energies with the energy retrieval. Uh, there's another Frostmoth. Okay, so I actually have a chance here to attack with Volcanion, and I think I should do it because, 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 um, <clears throat> like the bench damage doesn't matter, but I just, I'd really rather attack with Lapras VMAX because it's much harder to KO than Lapras V. Or is it, or should I? Why did I, why did I need to retrieval? Like I don't need extra energy, because why? Why do I need more energies on Lapras? I, I need, I don't need six to KO plus up on. I feel like the, attacking with this guy is better. Like just because you can play a guard doesn't mean you need to. Why would I need more energies? Like maybe attach them to Frostmoth, sure. Maybe attach them to Frostmoth for retreating purposes. Fair, right? Fair. I don't think that's gonna be the reason why I win or lose this game though. Okay. So Volcanion will be knocked out. No, you don't discard with Lapras V. Lapras V puts them back into your hand. Lapras V says, put two water energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. <clears throat> yeah, my opponent, all he can do is attack. And now his deck is super clocked with energy, meaning his outs to KOing are much lower. His outs to getting 7 energy are so much lower. Would have gusted Victini there. You can't gust Victini, he simply would have sent the Blood Cephalon active. Right? Okay, now we have triple Frostmoth. <laughs> For whatever reason. No, no, no. Now we have triple Frostmoth. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm really looking for Marty here. Alright, 1 million damage to the poor Victini. I can't believe I haven't found a single Balloon though, that's really crazy. When you play 3. Setting up mobs like it's a mountain deck. <laughs> <laughs> right? How could I have gusted the big team though? I couldn't have. I could have used Volcanion's ability and then he brings up the unpowered Blast Evelyn and I have Big Teeny and a powered Blast Evelyn to deal with. Oh gosh, he just discarded a Poke Gear. Does that mean he's already holding the Welder? Oh. <laughs> Indeed, Irish Gangsta. <laughs> that is correct, right? I'm fairly sure, I checked the maths and I, I'm pretty sure that's correct. I'm pretty sure that is correct. Alright. Does my opponent have 7 energy? No, he does not. He has 4. And he discarded a beast ring. Alright. And 200 damage. GG. Okay, let's do 1 million more damage. There you go, see that's 1 million, right? That's 1 million. 
Yeah, last last attack we rounded up. This time we didn't round up. That was one million damage for sure. I checked the maps. <laughs> All right, let's go again. Let's go again. I need to pack today. I need to do more of my homework. So many things to do. This might be the last game of today. And this might be the last game of the day. Have I tried the Electro GX version of this? No, I have not. Um, I saw that Trainer Chip made a video on it, but I have not tried it out myself. I will probably at some point soon. I will at some point soon. All right, so not the best start. We are going second yet again. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Am I in college, Pestman? That is very kind of you to ask, but no. I finished college nine years ago. That's a long time. I finished university nine years ago. Can you believe that? Wow. I can't. Now that I just said it, I actually can't believe it. Nine years. That's so long. That's so long ago. Nine years. Wow. What are my thoughts on Mew3 Mali, Jacob? I think it's a pretty good deck. I definitely think it's a pretty, pretty solid deck. Okay, I'm gonna set up Station and I'm just gonna let it change here. Um, since I'm not planning on attacking, I might as well attach energy to the other stun for retreating purposes, perhaps. And then we'll go ahead and do the change. And wow. Okay, so no Lapras in sight. Okay, decent set of supporters. So my will we'll GX next turn. Lapras VMAX is never one hit KO'd, so that's good. Right, that is very good. We'll see. <laughs> Pestman. I, yeah, I am not in college. I am, I finished university nine years ago. I am 31 years old. Do I have any thoughts about the new team devs? Char Charizard best? Honestly, no, I haven't seen them. Um, I think the Rillaboom is the best one because Rillaboom is the better of the three starters and it has the Magnolia. Um, but I have no idea, like, in the theme deck meta, what they what they offer, really. Okay, so there's Frostmoth. There's Frostmoth and there's Lapras. I might actually want to do 10 damage. The 10 damage actually matters here. Wait, actually, no, wait. I feel like I should attack with Lapras then. I should, yeah, I should attack with Lapras. Thus, yeah, I'm gonna attack with Lapras. One, yeah, two, 10, I finish him off and then he attacks me, then he attacks me, finishes me off, takes four prizes, and I KO that, hopefully. Though I do need a Lapras VMAX. So I Lady this turn? Yeah. I Lady. Okay. And then I'll use Ice Dance. One. Okay, I don't expect my Lapras to go down, right? So what I can do is power up all the energies. Well, not all, five. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Five, and that way I don't need to Ice Dance again to, I just need an energy attachment to get the KO. Because can my opponent really power up after having played nothing? Can he really power up Sajin and knock me out this turn? I'm hoping the answer is no, especially with that energy attachment. So we trade three for three, and I am okay with that trade. <clears throat> I am completely okay with that trade. I wish I had a, a Lapras, right? Well, never mind. 
<laughs> okay, this is that's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Good thing I attached that extra energy though. If I hadn't attached that extra energy, then then I might have been in trouble. The real boom. Oh, it's not the energy acceleration one. What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, he just healed. Oh, so now it does matter. Wow. How does he have the perfect cards? Oh. Now it matters exactly. I'm 10 damage short. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No, I shouldn't have thrown with the lapis, I think. Oh, that's... what a hand my phone was holding! Okay. Um... So I lose three prizes here. Of all the Sajin, right? Oh, jeez. Can't believe my opponent just did that. I actually can't believe my opponent had that. Okay. I need the energies more than the reach of the day. Um, I won't be using this guy. Okay. So then I go Ocean Loop KO. Oh, well, I don't have Frost one actually. Oh, 10 damage short. That's so... But I can't believe my opponent just had that. <laughs> and we've lost our stamp. Wow. Wow. Okay, I need to shuffle my deck with Viridian. I 100% need to shuffle my deck with Viridian here. Now I'm gonna need back to back Lapras VMAX. <sighs> okay, shuffle the deck first. I will not grab energy though. Then I will acro. Okay, thank you, Frostmoth, for deciding to show up. <sighs> okay, I got Reset Stamp, but I did not get Lapras VMAX. I can't take a hit, so that's the game. Oh my god. That was... That was insane. No, the VMAX would not have helped. I needed him to get a KO and then stamp him to one card. Like, it was part of the plan, Chimbo Fresh. You keep questioning my plays. Like, there's a plan and I'm explaining them and just because you can play a card doesn't mean you have to play it, okay? The plan was for him to knock out the Lapras. It goes down to one prize and then I stamp him. Yeah, and I use the Lapras VMAX now because that can take two hits, you know? But we're just not drawing well. Yeah, we're just not drawing well. We're just not drawing well at all. And my opponent had the perfect hand to counteract our first attack. An absolute perfect hand to counteract our first attack. Okay. Um, so not the best hand. Not the best hand. I'll bench everything. Why not? <laughs> Charizard, yeah. Yeah, so the VMAX wouldn't have helped. Yeah, the VMAX wouldn't have helped. The plan was for him to go down to one prize and then go in with the VMAX. Because if I play the VMAX right there, he attacks it, and then he just needs to chase that in order to, um, to win. Yeah, then he just needs to chase that in order to win. Because of... Um, <clears throat> because of the GX, if he knocks out the Lapras VMAX, it's down to four prizes. So I wanted him to, um, 
I wanted him to to not be able to beat me by just knocking out the Lapras VMAX at one point. And favorite decks in this Sword and Shield format? Um, Seijin ADP, Mew3, Malamar, I think those are the top two. Like they, they feel, they feel like the most powerful decks, like the most unbalanced decks out of all of them. Definitely not a fan of the non of the Cinchino Mill deck. Definitely not a fan of that one. <laughs> all right. Retreat into Jirachi. I won't be able to power up the Volcano, but I can retreat and maybe get a KO with a Labyrinth if I top deck a water. Yeah, if I top deck a water, I can KO the Jirachi with Labyrinth. That would be nice. Pigram, Pigram seems okay. It doesn't feel completely broken. Right? But Pigram is definitely another very good deck. Pigram is definitely another good deck. Okay, there's a Shuckle. I still think Shuckle is a waste of space here because it's so easy to get energies in the discard pile. Dunwings, yeah, I, I've been thinking a lot about the Dunwings and how useful it could have been maybe at some point. <clears throat> the HIC is like bench space, right, in this deck. But yeah, Dunwings could be a good pivot for sure. Dunwings could be a good pivot. Um, Pestman, you mean about Pigram? I feel like it's really good, but it's just a little a stage under Seijin and Mew3 Malamar. Alright, very nice top deck. Very nice top deck. It's not the energy top deck that I was talking about, but it's actually, potentially, even better. <laughs> what a hint. Ice Dance. This is so long of an animation. Why can't I just choose how many, like choose as many energies and then just click on the Pokemon. That would be way more efficient. All right, so energy for turn. I'll prepare another Snom just in case. I'll retreat. Uh, probably should have put a fifth energy on there. To not rely on Lapras VMAX, to have back-to-back -back attacks with the V. Yeah, oh well. Oh well, I mean, retreating and attacking with Volcanian Prism might actually not be a bad call for next turn either. What do I think will top 8 win OCIC? I expect at least 3 different Seijin decks in top 8, and at least 2 different new decks in top 8, I guess. And then the 3 others, I have no clue. Wild cards, maybe some fire decks, maybe Ability Sard. Yeah, Ability Sard definitely feels strong. I will certainly place top 8 because it's good against the top 2 high decks. Yeah, yeah, honestly it might be. Alright, so my pet will get two prizes with the station. I am completely okay with that. Well, like, I'm not completely okay, I'd rather it not happen, but... It's not the end of the world either. I can tell the mean we're gonna just lose the game. Alright. Chino Mill, Mewtwo, Welder, and Mali, ADP Station, Peter, I'm gonna build it, start to pay for you. Yeah, that would be some very nice variety to have, though. That's for sure. Okay, so my opponent didn't even get a KO, which is fantastic news. Fantastic news. Okay, my opponent will never be able to one KO my Lapras, right? So I can just power up six energies onto it. Maybe I should just be powering up the Volcanian. 
¿Por qué no entró Oscar que hay auto? Uh, you know what? I'll power up 5. Yeah, I don't need. I don't need 6. I'll just do 5. Because I get 2 back into my hand. And then we'll Professor Research. We just need to attack every turn, and that's fine. Um. Do I just go in with the Lapras? No, there's no point, I don't think. I don't think I want to use Lapras G Max here. Because that, like, I get 2 KKO'd anyways, but after 2 KKO, if he gets 2 prizes, it's even. Right? Because I got 2 prizes. But if he 2 KKO's and he gets 3 and I get 2, then it's not so even. And I'm already in the lead, so I might as well conserve that lead. <coughs> Sinchino Mill is overrated. I don't think Sinchino Mill is overrated. I think it's pretty powerful, but it loses really badly to me 3. I hope we see surprise text, that's for sure. I hope we see surprise text. I feel like there might be some people who still invest in green stacks and like play Tina Chump and stuff like that. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I need to update Welder Mew 3, that's for sure. That's a deck that I haven't, that I will get to until next week, probably. I won't be able to do it this week, but Welder Mew 3 is definitely a deck I should have featured and I haven't. You don't like Welder? Yeah, Welder, the fact that you can't Welder in turn 1 is definitely detrimental, though. Hero Mill was way better with Pidgeotto. Yeah. The turn 1 rules. Marnie, I think Marnie really kills Pidgeotto. I think that's the biggest thing. So Sinchino gives you extra cards, right? Marnie, I think, is the nail in coffin for Pidgeotto. Yeah, it's still strong. Not as strong as before, that's for sure, but still strong. All right, 119. See, so like if I have the Lapras Max, all I'm doing is giving my opponent an extra prize, and I really don't want to do that if I can avoid it. All right, if I can avoid it. So one card left in my opponent's hand. I'm gonna take this just to set up a Lapras. I don't see how we lose this game though. This Lapras has already made itself worth three prizes. Oh, I almost messed up. This Labyrinth has already been worth three prizes. I'm gonna Ice Dance once. <coughs> and then Ocean Loop. Get two waters back to my hand. Get a prize. So taking three prizes with a Labyrinth that's worth two is really, really good. And then I can trade one for one with the Volcanian. And then he goes down to three and then I use Labyrinth. And then maybe something else, like a third Lapras, we'll see. The last Lapras should be able to finish this off though, for sure. And Jimmy is a tech card solution, and that card is big and big. Is it? There will be a lot of surprises, it's the first tournament after Sword and Shield, not everyone is showing their decks. Um, yeah, Richard, that's true. I mean, I'm definitely not featuring, um, like I've already featured the top tier decks and now I'm featuring the not so top tier decks. Um, the meta doesn't rely on content creators though. Yeah, in the longer game it is painful, but it gives you access to more cards, therefore you can pull off whatever you're trying to do way faster, you know? Um, okay, so my friend used Mew to KO me, which is perfectly fine perfectly perfectly fine I'll just power up this time and then I think I'm attacking with Volcania this turn Son of Blast, thank you so much Tana Drummer, resubscriber, thank you so much for the support Tana Drummer, it's been a while thank you so so much for, for the support, how have you been? Thank you so much. How have you been, Brian? How are, How is this season going for you so far? And yeah, I mean, she knows since the deck, making it less susceptible to Mark, right? Because there's always cards like, at, at the end of the game, like the Great Balls, the Pokey Comps, the Quick Balls that you didn't use to set up, those are definitely easy cards to discard, right? Thank you so much, Tama Drummer, for the resubscription. That's awesome that you're doing fantastic. You're one month away from the from the purple table money. 
I think. Purple is one year. Yeah. <clears throat> it's funny after playing so much Oregon Expanded, you forgot what it was like to trade away cards that weren't executed and how much stronger plus two is over plus one. Yeah. <laughs> Execute is just so broken. So, so broken. Oh wow, 290 out of 500. That's really good, Tamadrummer. That's awesome. You're very on pace. Like, quarter two hasn't finished yet. You're very on pace. You must have um, League Cup and Challenge finishes left to go. And you live in arguably the hardest area, which is Florida. So, that's awesome. That is really awesome that you're doing so well. That is really awesome. If you get your invite, will you go to London for Worlds? Okay. Uh, the giant bomb is annoying. The giant bomb is certainly annoying. Because then I'm trading to Rowan. I mean, I just need one more attacker, right? I just need one more attacker, and I need to not evolve into Lapras. Right? That's all I need to do. Um, and I need to be energy efficient as well, basically. I need to be energy efficient. I have five energies left, that's great. <clears throat> that is great. I'm just gonna go ahead and research here. Plenty of energies with the lady as well. And thanks so much for the follow, Ozzy Karapayam. Thanks so much for the support today, it's been fantastic. It's really been fantastic today. I really appreciate it. Let's just... I'm just burning things here. I want to evolve, don't want to evolve, don't want to evolve. Do not evolve Pablo, do not evolve Pablo. And then we'll go ahead and Ocean Loop. Maybe I should have left this guy ready in case we get reset stamped. <clears throat> Probably I should have done that. I should have played the Retrieval, powered this guy up. And then there was no humanly possible way for me to lose the game. Now I could get reset stamped into a loss. Now I could actually get reset stamped into a loss, so that's a mistake on my part. A mistake on my part. Execute is just really a Pokemon, why make a card like that? <laughs> Plenty of finishes left, that's good. You have a challenge Thursday, you're thinking ADP Calder for the last UPR. Celestial Storm, or what? what's in there? What's the name of the last set? I forgot. Cosmic Eclipse, not Celestial Storm. Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, that seems reasonable. ADP Keldeo, big fan of it. <laughs> Definitely put in put in its worth um, when I made top eight with it in San Diego. So big fan of ADP Keldeo. The cost is very prohibitive. Yeah, I would imagine so. I would imagine so. <clears throat> There's always really good deals from Florida though to travel to Europe. Um, I hope I hope I hope you get your invite. I definitely I know how much it means to you and I know how much work you put in, so I really hope you get there. I really do. Okay, so we didn't get reset stamped. So now it's just a matter of now I will evolve into Lapras Vmax. Now I will evolve into the Lapras Vmax. I challenge one day before certain shield is legal indeed. <laughs> I gave, I gave my last hurrah with Malamar. <clears throat> Malamar made, started this crazy barter with back-to-back -back cup wins, and it finished it with a top four at a special event. So Malamar got me 200. Malamar almost got me a Latin American Worlds invite on its own <laughs> by 230 CP. Um, so yeah, Robin Lapras, OK deck. Obviously when you're playing against Cinder Ace, you're gonna do pretty well. Um, Lapras overall feels underwhelming, that's why I didn't order any. I did order Frost Months, you never know what other cool water type VMAXs we will get in the future. Um, but yeah, I will leave you for now. <laughs> that's awesome, Tama Drummer, that's awesome to hear. Um, that will be all for me today. Thanks so much for watching to everyone who supported, all the new followers, over 100 viewers, it has been a while since we had so many of you. Um, I won't be able to stream the rest of this week, unfortunately, but I will be back on Monday. And Patrick Ernest, thanks so much for subscribing as well. Thank you so much for the support. I guess I guess we should do the Seeking sub goal. I'll try to work on that for next week and we will do a Seeking sub goal where if we get to 55 or 60 subscribers, I'll play Seeking at Elite Challenge 
or if we get to 75 or 80, I'll play it at a cup. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. If you're watching YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.